Okay, this is a walk around video presentation for a 2004 Mitsubishi Lancer Sportback Rally Art. This car is a one owner car, originally purchased by my father, who has just recently passed away. This car is in a canary yellow color with uh, deep tinted glass on the rear and alloy wheels. I'm going to take a walk around it right now. This car is currently registered in British Columbia and can be registered here no problem but if it's another jurisdiction you'll have to have an out-of-province inspection done. Uh, it is currently running so I can show you the functioning lights and uh, open up the engine bay. Car is in nice shape. Uh, the only body damage on it is a rub on the front bumper. Uh, the bumper has been painted at least once before uh, due to a scrub uh, in the driveway. This is the left front wheel. It's an alloy wheel. This car is equipped with ABS and the tires are very good on, on this car. Um, Here's the side of it. There's no visible scratches or, or dents. However, there's quite a bit of grime, so the car is going to need a very good detailing. Here's the left rear wheel and tire. Uh, these are Michelin tires, all four matching, of course. And then we come around to the back of it. This car is really good uh, as a wagon goes because you can fit a lot of gear in here. Um, as I said, the body's in very nice shape. This is powered by a four-cylinder dual cam multi-valve engine. Uh, look, this is the right rear wheel and tire. As you can see, there's not a lot of curb. There's very little, if any, curb rash on any of the wheels or tires. So they're all in really nice shape. Can I move around to the back now and open the hatch? Really great visibility through these very large windows. And if you notice, the uh, the roof line is straight back, it, so you don't lose any uh, you don't lose any headroom on the inside. It's one of the nice things about this vehicle. It doesn't have a stylized roof line. So here we go. Uh, big cargo area. The uh, rear seats can recline. That's why you can see on the left side that seat's a little further back than the one on the right. Um, there is a tunnel cover. I believe it's in the garage. Just going to open up the lower end here. There's lots of storage underneath the, uh, underneath the uh, rear cargo deck. And these uh, rear seats do fold flat. Just gonna open up the back here. As I said, deep, deep, dark tinted uh, windows. So you can you can see the tint as I photograph here. The upholstery is in really nice shape. The previous owner was not a smoker, so everything on the inside there's no hint of cigarette smell in here. There's no rips or tears, and he didn't have any pets, so there's no pet hair or anything. Uh, there is no sunroof, by the way. But, like I said, lots of headroom. Now, moving along to the passenger side. This takes regular unleaded fuel. You do not need premium to run this car. Really nice seats. These are kind of stylized seats. And they have nice sport side bolsters on them. So, they're, they, uh, they sit a lot like the old Honda Civic sport seat. Or the Recaro seats here on the side you can see it does have power locks and power windows as well okay just gonna roll down this window you, you might know this there is some factory tinting here um, it looks like it looks like there there is aftermarket tint on the front windows but I don't think it's gonna cause you to get a ticket okay moving around to the driver's side Okay, it is a 2004, so we should get right to the odometer here. It's hard for you to see. Uh, there's the instrument cluster. 
and currently the odometer is reading 124 370 so 124,370 kilometers which is very low uh, the two lights that are illuminated here is a safety belt light and the door open light so there are no warning lights on this car right here along the instrument cluster are the power uh, power mirrors and fog lights um, on the turning indicator are your main parking lights and headlights and your high beams are on there too your uh, dimmer switch for the dash lights is down below, as is the uh, release for the gas door. And on the driver's door, on the uh, door panel there, you see controls for both the uh, power windows and the power locks, as well as a lockout child-proof lock for the uh, windows in the back. This is an automatic, and it is a four-speed automatic. There's a parking brake, two cup holders, an ashtray, which has never been used, and a power source. This car is equipped with uh, air conditioning as well. Um, Four-speed fan, various vent selections, and temperature control on the left. It does have a CD player and an AM, FM radio, as well as a central clock included. I believe that's it. It does have power steering and power brakes. And there's the cruise control. There is an adjustment for the steering wheel. It does have tilt, but there is no telescopic. This car is in really, really nice shape. Uh, let me open up the engine bay. One moment. Here we go. Okay. Engine bay. And you know, with a really good washing and some wax, this color will really be bright. Okay, here we are. It's the uh, engine compartment. Right over here you have your power steering fluid. Uh, there's even a strut power brake. So this car was meant to be uh, a sporty car. There's the ABS module uh, controller down there. Your windshield washer fluid is here. Um, there's the radiator. I do not believe this car has a block heater, so be aware of that. Uh, right here you have the uh, air intake and the air boxes there. Battery, which is original to the car. It's a Mitsubishi battery. There's a fuse relay uh, box right there, and there is a coolant overflow and radiator. Back there, you'll find the uh, brake fluid reservoir as well. Um, my v my VEC uh, is probably variable valve timing. Uh, there's your engine filler cap and the oil. Dipstick is right over here. No squeaks, no rattles. Um, running in very nice shape. And that concludes my walk around for this car. With the mileage and the year that this car is, uh, the Government of BC says that this car is a $7,000 car. And what few advertisements I've had that are comparable to this, same model, same year, or mileage rather, um, that would bear that out. Uh, it's about as, I, I would peg it at around somewhere between fifty-five dollars and $6,000 as a retail uh, selling price. And that about concludes it. Thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're interested in this car, if you're watching this, you know how to get a hold of me. If you don't, uh, it will. My information will be in the in the uh, the uh, YouTube video. Cheers.